So my son Cameron calls tonight, and he is frustrated. He's going to cancel a class that he's in. It is Excel heavy, and he's ticked off that the professor, he said, doesn't know how to edit. That's a topic in our house, as you can imagine. And he said that the, the professor, he would like zoom in to Excel uh, so that he could see this thing in Excel because things were changing in here. And it was all changing because of the stuff that was going on outside of the Zoom. What I'm going to show you here is an application that is beautiful and helpful. It's a weather application, but it has the same problem as Excel does. It's got something going on over here and something going on over here, and they're related. And if you don't get them uh, together and spotlight them both, you're not going to be able to grab the attention of the people and instruct them in the right way. In this application, you have got the ability to choose an area on the map. And in so doing, I bet you're following my mouse, right? Guess what you're not following? It's this over here where the temperature is. So if I want to show people uh, the temperature in Santiago, I click here and the temperature is over here. So let's get to it in Camtasia and show you how, uh, ladies and gentlemen, you can spotlight uh, two areas of the screen at once. I've got my recording over here. It's time for me to add the first spotlight. I'm going to go to favorites, grab a circle, put it on top of my screen recording. I'm going to hold down the shift key. I'm going to hold down the command key. I'm going to grab one of the edges. I'm going to grow that out from the center. We'll make that nice and big, grow that up a little bit. And then on the timeline, I will move that so that it covers the whole space. I want to reveal what's underneath that circle. So revealing happens underneath alpha. So now I've got my uh, play, or excuse me, I've got my map. What I want to do though, is it's not quite clear where what the uh, cursor is doing. So let's, let's at least go and let's scale up that cursor about two or 300%, perfect, something like that. Great. Now. Uh, I've got my shape and that allows us to do the spotlight. Let's copy and let's paste that. And I don't really need that extra call out. Uh, so I'm going to get rid of the fill, but I am going to add a little circle or an outline around it. That looks pretty good. Uh, I'm going to select all of that. Command G, group it, name it. And I'm going to call this one my uh, map. We'll get rid of the track above it, or at least get rid of the alpha elements to it. And now when I have this as a group, it's relatively simple for me to scale that group up and I can move it around as now an entire group. Awesome. Now, you can already tell we got some blackness here. And before we create this, uh, the second spotlight, let's go and do this. Let's uh, take that same recording We'll put it down underneath here, right? And that doesn't look as awesome as I'd like it to. Uh, it's a little bit busy, but we can help that out a bit. We're going to go to a, a whoop, not the cursor that we want to change the opacity on. It's actually the recording itself. All right. I'm liking that. <laughs> this is cool. Okay. Back to number three. We're going to add this uh, onto top track. We're going to add that same recording. And now we're going to spotlight the, uh, the temperature. So zooming in here to take a look at this temperature over to favorites. And my favorites, I'm just going to put a little shape on top of here so that we can get that just around the... Uh, temperature, I'll pull the opacity down to see. Okay, it looks like it really only needed to be about that big. And uh, let's go up just a little bit. Perfect, perfect. We'll change the opacity back to where it was before, stretch that all the way to the edge. And as we did before, we're going to call this one an alpha track mat, which will allow us to spotlight that. One more time, we're going to copy and paste this put that up on top and as a call out, we are going to choose uh, an opaque fill, uh, but we are going to put a border on it. This time I'm gonna change the border to a lighter color green, which you'll see why in a second. Shift, click, we're, this is like a dance, right? We're gonna do the same thing that we did before. We'll group it, we'll rename it. This one is going to be called the temp and I will right click on the track above and turn that one to none for the track matting. 
I am going to scale up that as a group and let's move it up here. Scale it again and we'll just keep moving it until it fits just about where we want it. All right, that looks pretty good. In a second, next video, I'm gonna show you how to take this and turn it into a template so that you can use it again and again and again so you become awesome and fast all at the same time. Thanks for watching. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.